Well, for a deeper look at the economic data we discussed at the top of this hour, I do want to bring in Chris Markowski, the founder of Markowski Investments. Hi, Chris. And thanks for joining us today. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Uh, so jobless claims fell to a new pandemic era low today. Uh, what's your takeaway from today's report? Well, I want everybody to understand these are initial jobless claims. It's many people that are applying for unemployment for the first time. And it's glad to see what this is telling us is that companies are not laying off as much as they had in the past. Uh, but the reality of the situation is, is many businesses around the country, up to 42 percent of businesses out there are, are having a very difficult time finding workers. We have to get people back into the workforce. Uh, we have to increase the size of our workforce. Workforce participation is what really counts right now and, and getting people off of all of the assistance. I do want to talk about those struggles that employers are facing. They are reporting a real struggle at this point to hire workers to fill the open positions they have. The restaurant industry is specifically suffering. For mm -hmm. example, there is a McDonald's in Florida that is actually paying people to just show up for an interview. Other companies are offering some really big signing bonuses to get people on board. Is this the new normal until expanded unemployment expires? I, I do think that that's the case. I know, Greta, we had, we had talked about this last year when the CARES Act initially came out and the concerns surrounding the, the size uh, of the, the checks that were going out, whether or not people were going to want to get back uh, to work. It's, it's sad. It, it really is. But again, we also have the, the, the same crisis right now. Where we've got people from Central America and other parts of Mexico saying, gee whiz, there's plenty of job openings in the United States. Employers are going to start getting quite desperate and, and they know that they're going to work here. So this is going to continue to help push that influx of illegal immigration into the country as well. Another key piece of economic data we got today was the latest measure of the housing market. Existing sales falling for the second month in a row, prices hitting a new record high as supply hits a new record low. And how do buyers keep up at this point? Uh, it's it's tough right now. Uh, one of the reasons as well is try to, the, the actual cost of materials, building materials, has absolutely skyrocketed. And uh, for people trying to build a new home, they constantly have to price in you know increases into these homes because everything has gone up, not to mention the supply chains are an absolute disaster. Um, speaking with, with some of my clients from around the country that are involved in construction and home building and contracting in general, uh, some areas actually putting up you know swimming pools two years. They feel like they can't even get the equipment, um, uh, sprinkler systems, uh, everything across the board they can't get their hands on at this point in time. And this is going to drive the costs up. And this is why existing homes are very hard to find. A uh, house goes up on the market in many areas around the country. People will buy it without even going there to see it. They'll just look at the video online. First quarter earnings are picking up steam. Today we got reports from both the Southwest and American Airlines. They both sounded more optimistic than United and Delta did, anticipating a strong rebound in demand next quarter. What do you mm -hmm. think about those forecasts? Well, uh, yeah, I, I read into the forecast a little bit and things are, are improving. They really couldn't have gotten much worse. Uh, quite frankly, but uh, you know, uh, Southwest numbers they did uh, they did okay, but it was also because of the fact that they got government assistance, which was helpful as well. Um, I think that their concerns moving forward, one of the most lucrative areas of business is uh, is business travel and whether or not that is going to come back. Uh, I do think that uh, many Americans, once they get their shot or their second shot, are going to want to go on vacation, and I think that that would be helpful. Uh, but I think it's going to take I do think it's going to take some time to get back to the capacity capacity that we had prior to COVID. Uh, Chris, real quickly, I do want to get your reaction to uh, some developing news that we got just uh, before I started this show. Biden now seems to be considering an increase of the capital gains tax to 39.6 percent, up from the current 20 percent. Mark, it doesn't like that, of course. Uh, what is the impact of such a decision? Uh, it's, it's, it's a massive thing. I, 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 people that are not in high tax states, uh, you're talking California, New York, it's going to be upwards of 50 percent. Um, again, you're going to invest money and you're going to take risk on in investing money. And then whatever money you make, the government's going to take half of that. Um, that's going to most certainly change your mind where you're going to invest. Are you going to invest in the United States? Are you going to look at other options uh, that are out there? Uh, this is nuts. We, we want to have a country where people want to invest in the country and businesses. Business is what, is what in essence, creates jobs here. Uh, and this is highly uh, punitive and uncompetitive on the world stage, and I don't think it will stand. All right, Chris Markowski, founder of Markowski Investments, joining us to discuss the latest economic data amid the pandemic. Thanks, as always, for coming on the show today. Thank you.